So being endowed with second sight of the divine by Isis, Hieros, Hieros, Io, and the sight of the ketonic realms or the black forms, pitch black idola by Hecate, Physis. I would like to contribute something in my conversation so that you can see the world with my eyes. For example, today the, we've got four cats in this house. One cat hunted down a small little yellow-bellied bird and shrapnelized the poor creature to almost nothingness. The bird was barely alive, afraid and barely breathing. So it was known that the bird will die soon. I tried to find the most secure place so that his body won't be shrapnelized by the cat and put him on top of several bricks on the backyard of this house. What I have witnessed however that when I put the bird in the broad sunlight I witnessed a form of a divine feathered lady in shape of a bird like in the legends that are conveyed in Persia a divine female composed of feathers not exactly an angel coming for this little one's soul to take him to paradisical oblivion so nothing is lost in nature and if you want to question me whether animals have souls yes they do have souls some of them are very advanced they have both the ethereal souls the black souls they have astral doubles for example cats when they hunt they dispatch an astral double in front of them to inspect the surroundings. Sometimes you may wonder how do animals know whether the owner returned. They have their souls, their souls inspect and when the owner is nearby even if they don't send him they can acknowledge his presence in their own way that their soul interprets back into the animal mind. And all forms of animus and totemus emerge in such a way. A totem is a man may be a totem to an animal, and an animal may be a totem to a mortal. So, once upon a time, when I tracked down a fox spirit in Warsaw, in the middle of the winter in the snow, I have seen its soul, uh, reddish and uh, half transparent, spying through the surroundings, and then the fox arrives. And I wondered, how it is like to be a fox and all of a sudden I felt the soul of the fox keenly incarnating into my body and I had this change of mind all of a sudden and I turned into this curious cunning very vivid creature and it was my interpretation my humor interpretation of how it is like to be a soul of the fox whether the fox received any impressions from my soul or my shadow soul or my mind so that the fox experiencing himself in a foxy ways, how it is like to be a human, is a completely different issue. Thank you.